The first official content update of Chapter 3 Season 3 is here bringing some brand new weapons, map changes, and a bunch of brand new free rewards including a summertime event that's right around the corner that we're going to be checking out in today's video. And for those of you guys that are new here to the channel, we actually send a gift to a lucky subscriber in every single video here on the channel. We actually have a brand new starter pack for Chapter 3 Season 3 called the Rogue Elias Pack, which looks insane. Unfortunately, I'm not able to gift this, but it is only $4, so the amount of V-Bucks and all the rewards you're getting is a very, very good deal, so definitely check this out. But if you want to receive a gift in the future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift and a big shout out to everyone using support of creator code nerf nerp you guys are absolute legends so thank you so much yeah wait what oh there we go oh my god man the bloom on this thing is terrible i need me a burst oh my god what what is happening where are all these guys coming from there we go all right this is perfect so like i said we did get a new mini content update that just rolled out and you guys can see here that this is one of the brand new weapons. It's actually called the Grapple Glove. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. Can I, uh, can I show off this thing real quick without getting shot, please? So, if you guys did not see how that guy was moving around, this is basically like this season's version of the Spider-Man Mythic. I think Epic realized how much people enjoyed it. So, the mechanics and everything are pretty much exact same as the Spider-Man Mythic. The only thing is, it's like a glove. And you guys can see it does have a cooldown and there's a lot less uses. So it's not as good as the old Spider-Man gloves that we had last season, but it still is a really good replacement. And I think it looks pretty sick that it's like this mechanical arm that uh, you can actually physically put on your character. Now, along with the brand new weapon, we do have some new free rewards that just got leaked here in the Fortnite files that we're going to be showing you guys how to get. And there is also an upcoming summertime event that Fortnite actually released a little teaser image for that we're going to be talking about as well because you guys already know Epic Games go hard for summertime and uh, there is going to be a lot of awesome stuff upcoming at the end of this month. So first things first, one of the free rewards that I want to make sure all of you guys are well aware of before the arena points actually reset for this season is a free weapon wrap that everyone's able to get literally by playing arena and reaching Contender League Division 1. If you guys didn't know at the end of last season, Fortnite finally added arena rewards, so there's actually a reason to grind arena and try to get up through all the ranks and hypex tweeted out saying climb to contender league division one or above in arena to earn a weapon wrap at the end of the season based on your final division and as you guys can see here this weapon wrap is actually pretty cool it's animated it has some pretty cool colors that go along with the arena and fncs branding and what's super cool about this is every single division higher that you reach the logo on this wrap will actually change so if you are someone that's able to get up through all the ranks you'll have a lot more styles and a lot more options options for what you want your weapon wrap to look like as compared to someone that barely reaches contender and only gets the standard one boom yep i knew it i knew it man hitting people while they're gliding around with this thing is actually so hard you're in a tree man <laughs> this guy <laughs> dude what is going on man this lobby is cracked right now now something else that also just got released earlier this week here in fortnite battle rail as well is the first edition of the Fortnite Times Marvel Zero Point comics and collaboration that they announced at the end of last season. And the reason why this is so exciting is just like the Batman comics they released a few seasons ago, these comics actually come with exclusive skins and rewards for the Marvel collaboration. And the first one here comes with a pretty awesome skin. The first edition comes with a Spider-Man Zero outfit and matching backling, which I will throw images up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a new version of the Spider-Man skin. And honestly, of all the different Spider-Man skins we've had released i actually think this is one of the best and coolest looking ones that we have he's wearing like a really thick coat of armor and honestly i just think it looks way better than all the other ones that they've released so far how you go about actually acquiring this skin is a very very specific way and it might be difficult for some of you guys depending on the region and country that you live in but the only way to get this skin is by acquiring a code 
that you would redeem over on the fortnite.com slash redeem website. And how you get one of these codes is by picking up the first edition of the Fortnite Times Marvel Zero Point Comics, but it has to be a physical copy that you go and buy either at GameStop or a certain store that is selling them in your country. So unfortunately, if you do buy the comics digitally or order them online, this will not include a code, but if you are able to find a physical version of this in stores and purchase it, at the very back of the comic, there will be a page where it shows what rewards you get for each edition with a code that you then redeem on your Fortnite account on the Fortnite website. And for those of you guys that live somewhere where it's difficult to find the physical copies, there is people that actually are selling just the codes themselves. It is going to be a little bit of money compared to just going and buying the comic. It's going to definitely be upcharged a little bit, but that is definitely a workaround to not being able to get the comics yourself and get the codes through that. What are these guys doing, man? Why are they fighting out in zone like that? What? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I never use the Ranger. I prefer the Burst. But when you get a legendary one out of a chest like that, it's just like, I feel like I have to grab it, you know? And that's why you grab it, man. 37 damage. They are not going to have time to react with this. There we go. All right, hopefully I hit this. Okay. Whew. I was scared I was going to die to fall damage there for a sec. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? He just died to fall damage, but he was using the new weapon. I don't know if that was a glitch, but we'll take it. Now, we also mentioned this in a previous video, but another free reward that just became available a few days ago is the PlayStation Celebration Pack, which I'll throw up on the screen. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this by now, but it does include a new skin and back bling, which looks pretty cool. And all you have to do in order to get these is go over to the PlayStation Store and search up the Celebration Pack. And if you do have PlayStation Plus active on your account, then you'll be able to download this for free and it's literally the easiest pack to get every single season. And on top of that, Fortnite also released the first early image of what they are going to be doing for this year's summertime event. They're calling it the No Sweat Insurance Fortnite Summer and this is the image they released right here. It's literally just like a pool party on the brand new map with a bunch of the different skins and you guys can see we have the Beach Jewel skin holding up a phone with a little No Sweat Insurance logo that uh, came out back in chapter two. And it was also revealed that this event is either gonna be starting on June 21st or June 28th, depending on whatever day the big content update is going to be falling on. And it's most likely going to be Tuesday since that's when all the big Fortnite updates tend to roll out. So we could be expecting a bunch of new summertime versions of all the previous skins that have come out here into Fortnite since chapter three has been released. And there's probably going to be some challenges, free rewards, and a bunch of different map changes that are going to be happening for this event as well. So I am super, super excited, especially since it's literally a week or two away. Where is everyone? There's literally only two guys left. Are you in the bush? Oh, there is a guy in the bush. <laughs> what are you doing over here, man? Oh my god, we're lasering. Yeah, that's why you don't sit in a bush, you little bush wookie. He's literally right behind that little shield thing, I'm pretty sure. And if he is behind it, then he's gonna have to push us, I'm pretty sure, because uh, the zone is literally right here. Yep, there he is. No! Oh my god. I thought I choked it for a second. Oh man, that was scary. I thought I choked it. The shotgun I grabbed did not do enough damage, and this guy came sliding and spraying. But there we go, we got the victory royale, 15 eliminations, and the win streak stays alive. There's all the current brand new free rewards, some gameplay of the brand new weapon, and some early information for this upcoming summertime event. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.